So today we're actually going to be starting our Duo 30 centimeter shallow here. So I don't know how much, if you guys just watch on YouTube, I don't know how much I mentioned I was going to have this going on. It has been in backgrounds of videos for months now. I'm just now getting to a point where I'm going to be able to do it now. And not like that, you know, I was getting lighting and I was, I was still kind of moving stuff around with the shelves and stuff. So now I'm finally kind of finalizing this area. So I'm going to start doing this today. So the really the, the the original idea why i even bought this shot in the first place which i thought it would it fit great in this spot anyway but not only that this piece that i was able to get that fit perfectly in this shallow is the major reason why you invested in this tank in the first place and then not only that of course this whole shelf section i have going on here is all like our duo collection stuff so of course all the tanks and everything around the room is ada and then this is more of like our antique ada stuff all the rare stuff books all that and then of course all the smaller like um, terrarium and do a product so so it just adds on to that and we pretty much have one of everything at this point other than like a terra base but obviously i think the shallows and kind of the more pot stuff kind of fits what i have going on here a little better so i kind of stick with those styles but back to this tank so i got yeah i got this piece of wood that was really cool and i'll see it coming up obviously i'll refine this wire once it's all said and done but you can see how it kind of nicely hides the wire down and of course once we skate but slowly you won't even see this wire and then most of everything just kind of neatly goes down here, which will also kind of get organized once I have another pot in here as well. So, so the main goal for this tank is, so at first I had this as a boost of Flandra, kind of a little bouquet island, whatever you want to call it. And that was it for a while. And then I ended up buying a, which if you're not on Instagram, you, so you guys won't really know this. So definitely follow on Instagram if you have one, because this is where I like show more stuff like this. Um, but this, this actually, I got ended up getting a, a original ADA made Wabikusa. So this is actually a uh, Wabikusa made by ADA. So really cool. It's obviously, you can see it's still fairly newer and it's grown in now. So um, it's just going to keep getting better and better. So definitely stay tuned for Instagram. And I'll try to do videos for YouTube as well on this one. But I, don't, I just don't know how often you'll see it. So Instagram will definitely be more day to day. And I think I'm be getting, I think I'm going to be getting a new pot for this too because I accidentally cracked this one. So that will be switched out for a brand new one here soon as well. But back to this one. So where I'm getting at is this will basically be my new Boost Flanger Island. I already bought a bunch of Boost. Um, really cool species. I'm going to keep adding on to it. So today the Boost Flanger that I'll add to it is kind of um, what I just got today. And then I'll of course keep adding into it because I definitely have some pieces like Brownie Ghost 2011 that I can add in here. So I just want this tank to kind of get a little bit established first and then I can add some of the other stuff. But I got Boost I got Boost Flanger. I got um Goliath. I got some cool Godzilla species that are actually really cool and different that I haven't had in a little bit. And then the rest of the stuff is I, I got a big, I had rewards rewards program with uh, Boost Plant and I didn't realize I had a bunch of free money just sitting in there so I just went ahead and splurged on a bunch of Boost of Flandra. Just spent like 400 bucks on Boost of Flandra. It really filled this tank. So there's some other plants too that are going to be in the mix that are going to be in here down the road too but today we're just going to really escape it and then I'll show you guys the planting too um, and all that but I just want to kind of sit down and tell you guys kind of like the plan. Then I'll probably just do kind of a little mini time time lapse too for this tank as well. So that's probably what most of this video will be. But yeah, so I got wolf stones. So I got plenty of a wolf stone here that I have collect. Um, I say plenty, but some good good sized pieces that will work perfect for a small project like this. So I got this first piece in here, kind of slanted up. There's actually a little nub on the back. This piece is kind of cool, so I let it shoot up because I kind of definitely want a lot of stuff to be grown out of the water so if i can have more stuff sticking out of the water the better so that's why i put that piece there but i'm going to set the camera up on a tripod and really just kind of do a time lapse for you guys and then i'll come back to you guys at the end and kind of explain again what i did so this may be a little bit longer of video it already kind of is but but yeah and then i'll go through and kind of explain all the species that i have in here and kind of what i did but yeah i plan to just keep doing some wolfstone work on that i got some jungle soil that will go back there and i'll do some little pots of sand our normal detail stuff like that so and then the goal is um there'll be so much plant mass in here and of course there'll just be kind of a cool bouquet of boost flanger more than anything but this tank is big enough that i can actually probably do shrimp in here um i've seen plenty of people do that as well so i was like my i mean might as well it's going to be a it's going to be a whole nother tank sitting right here so might as well actually do some type of livestock in it and i don't think that's probably the most i'm going to do there's really no point doing anything else in here it's not that big so i may do some really cool shrimp in here i don't know what yet uh I was almost thinking like a species of Neo because it'd be easier, but we'll just see. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind like even some crystals. Like I try to do stuff that's a little more rare, um, just to add to my collection, but we'll see. I'll kind of look through and see what shrimp to do, but I'll, of course I'll give you guys updates on that if I do choose some, but I'll definitely do something pretty cool in here for sure. But 
Other than that, yeah, I'll set up the tripod and I'll get scaping and I'll come back to you guys at the end. <laughs> Try to do best I could. There was a, a lot of stop and goes throughout the time lapse. I was trying to show as much as possible, but some things just were what was whatever. But yeah, I just wanted to come back to show you guys. Obviously, it's still a little bit cloudy just from initial fill. It's pretty. I mean, it's pretty clear for what it is. But um, just need to have it clear up a little bit. Then I'll probably once it's crystal clear, I'll probably post some stuff on Instagram for you guys to see. But yeah, I just wanted to go through and ex just explain some of the species here. So there's a couple. Um, more terrarium type plants of course they can there you know the rhizomes can be submerged but obviously the main body of the plant can't be and that's what these ferns are um, and then i got a little bit of uh, moss that i've used plenty of times in these um other duo pots to get a real blue i don't know if it'll do well in here with you know pretty much no humidity but we'll just see i just threw it in there i can use it in other places if it doesn't really not liking it but then the main one is i got the boost godzilla which isn't in the best shape when it got shipped so it again that's just whatever it'll the good thing is, as long as the rhizome's intact, it'll put new, you know, new growth out over time. So, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. It was kind of hard to position, like, how I wanted it. Of course, you can see a lot of leaves, like, way out here. But in this light, I have to see, um, obviously, I'm, with the puck light, I just have to see. Um, it's, it's, I have to say, I'm pretty sure it's on the brightest setting. It's, it's pretty good. Once a water crystal clears, it'll probably look a lot brighter than it actually is. Um, it's just the water, I think the water just kind of. Um, messes up the look a little bit. But we'll just to see, but I, I mean, it's boost line doesn't need a lot, especially with a lot of immersion code. That that's definitely plenty. It's just like getting the light to penetrate through this down here. But I think I think for the most part, I think with it being daytime too, it's sometimes it's kind of hard to you know see and stuff. But I think it lights it up pretty good, well enough. But we'll have to definitely I'll have to definitely put my par meter to it and just see. I'm curious to see like what type of par it's actually putting in there. But you see all the boost of flanders that are throughout here. Again, it'll look a little weird. And I saved a lot of spots. That's why they're still kind of open spots. Because I'm saving stuff for, you know, better species over time. And who knows? I mean, I might not even ever put anything crazy in here. I may just leave it as is. Um, of course, there's still really cool species in here. But I may not ever get crazy with it. But we'll see. But yeah, I got um, Godzilla Green right here. Which is like a really cool long leafy one right here. Obviously, like I said, got Goliath is right here. Um, I got some Agnorant Blue throughout here. Um, some mini coin throughout the, the bottom here. So nothing, like I said, nothing too crazy. Um, some Catherine throughout. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll have to put, I may have to, when I get other pieces here and there, I'll, I'll add some in here, but just some pretty basic, the year everyday stuff you see from like Boost Plant or even Glass Aqua, some of those other websites. Um, but just wanted to, like I said, just want to make a little Boost Garden. But eventually, yeah, over time, I'd like to even, I, I love some crevices open to add, you know, more species. So when I, when, if I'm doing other tanks and I have extra, I can just start throwing them in here. And I kind of just want just like this big ball of Bruce Flanger right in the corner here. And then that's when, like I said, that's why I left plenty of room in the front. That's why I kind of switched up some rocks that I had. I was trying to make it more simple and it just look kind of too crowded to me. So that would give plenty of room like in, in here in crevices that, yeah, if we want to do some shrimp in here, which I don't see why I wouldn't. Um, we definitely have that ability to do that, so I think it turned out pretty good. I really, I really like it. It'll be different for sure. I mean, I, I kept contemplating the the wood choice. Obviously, the the piece of wood's great. Like, I mean, it's a great piece of wood. The design of it. I mean, it's literally like, it's like pretty much a pre scape. I mean, literally had to do nothing to other than just toss it in there. Of course, I added this branch right here that sticks out. I think that was a good choice. It's kind of cool. It actually connects into that branch on the other piece of wood. So. I think that's a really nice detail, especially from the down up like this. It looks really good. And there's another piece that kind of go up here that kind of supported the glide, so that actually worked out really well. But, yeah, other than that, that's about it. Until I really give you guys updates and it clears up on Instagram, you guys will see all that. And then, of course, I'll try to, just like all the other tanks, I'll keep you guys all updated on all this and how this turns out over time. I don't see myself rescaping. I mean, I say that, and I've rescaped probably all these duos three or four times. But I, I, the wood choice, I mean, I bought that wood just for that tank, and so I think it's a, it's possible down the road I may do something different again, but I really, I think, I think I, I'm definitely going to run with it. I, I don't mind it whatsoever, so I, I think we'll end up sticking with it. 
like it looked pretty good. So, but other than that, yeah, if you guys have any questions or if you, if you see a species that you think I missed and you want to go know the name of, just let me know down below. I'll see, like, like I said, again, Instagram is JJ Aquarium, so you can ask any questions on there as well. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video.